I'm now going to show you DVD viewer working on Windows 10. Um, we're going to launch the application. Takes a little while to um, come up. Press the enter key, it gives you information what the program is and it tells you what codex and resolution and all sorts of information at the bottom as well. So we're going to look at a uh, different channel, we're going to change to BBC One HD now. Um, I've got a 4K resolution screen so I can maximize this and it will upscale to 4K and as you can see it's all well and good double click of the mouse and you can go back to any resolution you want you can size it down whatever you want to do you can create shortcuts for different resolutions okay what we're gonna do now is uh, turn the volume off for a second and look at some of the options that we have within the application. First and foremost, you will need some hardware to to utilize, i.e. you're going to be using either Freeview or, or Freeset in here. So I'm going to do a scan for all devices on my system. As you can see, it's found four items on one dual tuner which is uh, the black gold tuner has got two cable tuners and two terrestrial tuners so I'm gonna delete the cable tuners because I have nothing in them and I'm gonna delete one of the terrestrial tuners because I, I use it at another application instance of DBV viewer for that one okay the second tuner is a um, preset tuner so it's DBVS hyphen s2 tuner as you can see here and they all work so there's nothing to worry too much about there if your preset viewer has a module in it you can tick this box I've removed mine so I can change that right now within DirectX you can specify which decode that you use for specific entities like MPEG2 you can select from what's installed in your system yeah everything works fine for me with video lab video decoder uh, the one important one is the HEVC decoder yeah so that's available in Windows and if you go to the tick boxes here you can program in specific parameters the important one is the DirectX Video Acceleration and there are various tick boxes you can massage. At the moment I ha don't have a GPU which has on board HEVC decoding so I rely on my CPU to do that which um, puts a heavy burden on my CPU. So I'm looking forward to purchasing uh, a more, much more powerful GPU in the future something like um, uh, the, the um, Radeon Polaris range or even the Nvidia new brand of GPUs in here it shows you um, all the video formats that the application supports 
this is for the lab video decoder to interpret so pretty much everything is gonna be working with this because all everything works what I can ever see on this system okay within the application you have channel editor and as you can see what you can scan the channels and it will give you a list of all the channels that are known to the system so this is the video the preview channel list we can do the same on the preset application and then you get about 900 channels on the preset so I've already pre-configured a different application instance of that we'll just launch it coming up now you can also run all these applications at the same time with different channels so can see in here this is got a, a preset scan and it's got 417 free to air channels because I made the filter free to air only in here you can search for example for HD channels and, uh, it should find them and mark them in blue for you any of the channels you want you can add favorite if you wanted to program some specific channel which is not on the um, transponder list you can put the parameters in here based uh, manually thing codes with all sorts of things uh, the most impressive one we have is the 4k transmission by um, Astra channel but unfortunately my system can't cope very well with it but uh, it, let's give it a go As you can see from the bottom, it's got 380, 3840 by 21 pixel resolution at 50 frames per second. And it basically can't cope with this at the moment. It's done to my system, nothing else. Okay, I hope that gives you a bit of a flavor of what this application can do. Thanks for watching.